Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of the Villanova Dynasty. And today, it is time to take on Baylor on the road. This could be a very tough game. As you can see, Baylor, a very good team. And Va Baylor is playing really, really well, both offensively and defensively. They are 2-0. and We are 2-1. and so we look to somehow find a way to compete with this team. Uh, their quarterback likes to run a little bit of option, but he can throw the ball as well. So we have a dual threat on our hands that we need to watch out for. Um, their running game can be pretty good, but uh, it looks like their passing game is top notch. And their defense has been really good this year as well. So we will see if we can hang in there against this team and maybe pull out an upset. Here we go, and right away, Johnny Jefferson with an 11-yard run. They're going to give it to Johnny again, and Johnny is going to pick up a big gain of 22 yards. So not looking so good for us so far, and there is Zamora, and Ishmael Zamora for a big gain, and then there you go, the option, Zach Smith, killing us with the two-yard touchdown run there. So Baylor strikes really quickly. Now here comes Villanova, and an incomplete on third down. That's going to send the ball right back to Baylor. Here is the punt, and it is going to be fielded by Platt, and Platt just going to run right through a tackle there and pick up 16 on the punt return and get into Villanova's side of the field, and Zamora is going to pick up 22 yards here. And now again with the option, and Smith running over one, a tackler, to pick up a 17-yard touchdown run. So Zach Smith overpowering our defense right now. Malik Dupree on the next series picks up a 12-yard run there for a first down. And now a throw to J.D. Hernandez for 23. We need this kind of offensive production down 14 points early in the ball game. No one to throw to, but look who gets open. It is Covington, and Covington is going to find his way downfield for 17 yards. Now Bednarczyk is going to get hit and fumble the football. Luckily picked back up by a Villanova lineman, but another huge sack. Going to take Villanova out of field goal range and out of scoring range. But look at this punt here. What a beautiful punt. Out of bounds at the one-yard line, and Villanova getting ready to try their best to stop this offense. As you can see, that's been gaining a ton of yards. They will wait until the second quarter to do so. Second quarter now, Baylor starting with the ball, and he throws it still in the end zone, but a nice setup screen for Justin Wilson, who is able to pick up 16 without being touched. There's a broken tackle. A trip by the safety, and Johnny Jefferson's going to pick up a bunch there as well for a first down. Now another throw to Johnny Jefferson, and he has the wheels. Johnny Jefferson on a couple missed tackles has gotten a 53-yard gain and puts Baylor back in scoring position again. This time Johnny Jefferson's going to lose two yards running back and forth. There's Terrence Williams. He loses a bunch, so Baylor only settling for a field goal here. I don't know if you'd consider that a moral victory for Villanova. But a 17-0 lead for Baylor already. Forbes coming out of the end zone. And Forbes has some daylight and will get to the other side of the football field and give Villanova good field position. Malik Dupree will run for eight yards, but it is a fourth and seven. And Villanova is going to go for it on fourth and seven and hit McClinton. For 14 yards, Villanova, Mark Ferrante figuring, hey, we're down 17 already. Aaron Forbes gets an 11-yard run. And now a screenplay to Malik Dupree, and he's going to find the end zone for the first Villanova score of the day. But Narchik, a decent game. Forbes, six passing for a touchdown. So now here we go. Here is Baylor on their next possession. And the pitch outside is going to pick up a ton of yards on a missed tackle there as well. So 111 running yards for the Baylor team so far today. KD Cannon 
makes a play and gets around the corner. I don't know what he was doing. 24-7 lead now for Baylor. And Chenga Hodge with a 44-yard completion before the half here. And there is Travis George. Dormant so far today, but they're making a catch. And now, bang, another amazing throw. A dot to Travis George for a score. That gets them back within 10 before the half here. They need to hold Baylor for 22 seconds, and the way Baylor's been playing, they can do anything they want to, and there he goes. He busts open Chris Platt for a 47-yard kick return, giving Baylor an extremely good opportunity to possibly pick up some points here. Five seconds now, and an incomplete, so they'll have to go for the field goal now, and just wide left on the hooked field goal attempt. So now Villanova coming out of the half, with a 10-point deficit, and they're going to have a chance here to get themselves within seven. Padovani for the first down. Looking decent for Villanova so far. Benarchik rolling to the outside, buys time, and throws it to Forbes, and Forbes is going to pick up 34 on a big gainer. As you can see there again, Forbes... Running to the outside, but 48 was in the way, and then he turns it upfield for an excellent, excellent play. Just extreme awareness. Unfortunately, Malik Dupree would get hurt earlier in the day, so Forbes is going to carry it out until he returns to the game. But Narchik looking, and Ing is, uh, it's picked off. And that's pretty much going to do it. Uh, Villanova is going to need a stop here if they want to get back in this ball game. They had a chance there to get within seven. And there is some breaking tackles for Johnny Jefferson. And Johnny again up the middle here. And Johnny's got daylight. And he's caught by Chucky Smith. Not brought down, but someone else would get him. But a flag there. They are going to call face mask against Villanova to add insult to injury. So there is an easy touchdown for Terrence Williams, and now Baylor with the 17-point lead is going to make it extremely difficult for Villanova to come back, especially if Benarchik still throwing picks all day. There's another interception. Benarchik with a very good first half and a very poor second half so far. Johnny Jefferson, another huge run. He picks up 24 yards. Here's Johnny Jefferson once more, and Jefferson almost into the end zone with a 10-yard run there. Now there is Smith running the option, breaks a couple tackles, breaks a third, and gets into the end zone. Zach Smith has just been powerful on his option plays so far today. There you go, late in the third. Baylor with the 38-14 lead, and now Villanova is just trying anything, and he throws it up to Changa Hodge, and it's complete. Malik Dupree with a good run there. Unfortunately, it's a 24-point lead for Baylor, but Villanova showing signs of being a decent offense today, but um, just the turnovers killing it. They could be in this game if not for that. Nice throw to the outside, and J.D. Hernandez for 20 yards. But Narchik's going to throw for a touchdown to Bingelis, and Bingelis the backup tight end. Uh, big roll last year with the injury to Bell, who has now graduated. But J.D. Hernandez, the redshirt freshman, has come on so strong here that Bingelis has been relegated to the backup role. And Zach Smith, again, just continues to run the ball on this team. And now he just throws it away. But it'll be another field goal for Baylor. And that will give them a 20-point lead here, a 41-21 lead. But Narchik downfield almost intercepted. That brings up fourth and seven. But, you know, Mark Ferranti figures, who cares? This game's over anyway, so let's go for it and try to get as many points as we can. So he goes for it on that one. But Narchik's going to not get brought down there, but eventually will get brought down. And that play injures Bednarchik for the rest of the day. So Bradley coming out now. Bradley with a 
shot right there to J.D. Hernandez. There you go. It's back spasms for a quarter. So he'll just miss the rest of the day, but Narchik will. There's a throw. That is incomplete. That'll bring up fourth and three. They're going to go for it anyways. And J.D. Hernandez is wide open on the little stick and nod. 22-yard gain. And now 30-something seconds left here. Hernandez again is going to get this one to about the one. And ooh, he stuffed a fourth and goal. And Malik Dupree will pick it up on fourth and goal. Touchdown, Malik Dupree. That'll give us a 41-28 deficit and 10 seconds left in the game. Nothing to do but go onside here. Baylor will pick it up, and that will be the game with victory formation. A 13-point loss here for Villanova at Baylor. Not too bad. The turnovers could have changed the game drastically. Uh, could have been a lot closer. Zach Smith, the missed tackles on him, just made it difficult for this team to do what they wanted to do against Baylor. So, all in all, not a terrible game as we look at the stats here. Um, quarterbacks were okay. The running backs were okay. The receivers, J.D. Hernandez was it was key in the game with 97 yards. Touchdowns by George and Dupree, some good freshman stars that we have going on here. Uh, no sacks on the day, no interceptions on the day, and no fumbles on the day. Anything defensively would have helped, too. Again, brought to you by Legion. Scores you don't give a shit about. All right, so we go ahead and get uh, offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator upgrades. And now we will take a look at what we're going to do recruiting-wise. We're going to take off all these guys. We are out of 1,000, Don. We are not going to worry about any of these gentlemen. Ooh, a gem, couple gem quarterbacks, as we do need a quarterback. So we'll give him a shot. We'll see if we can uh, bring one in. There's a nice bust we got to take off the board. Holmes will leave on the board, but not going to put too many points into him. But these quarterbacks... Those are guys we can we can pick up. I know that we have Vasu coming in, but we will still pick up any one of these guys that we can get. All right, what else is left on the board here? We'll take that guy off. We we have some pretty decent players up here, so we're gonna go ahead and try and put some points in on these guys. We do have one visit. Crum wants to come in, so he will come into USF. UCF as well, that is. Looking for some more rejects. Uh, not seeing them at positions that we want to go for. But we're going to try to put some guys up on the board here. Tight ends, fullbacks, just in case. It's always nice to have. Even though we're going after, and we've already recruited a fullback. But let's see. All right, we're definitely going to grab a no-fly zone, make our cornering a lot better. Cannon for the quarterback, and that's pretty much going to do it. We'll take a look at who we're facing next week. It is USF next week. So, guys, uh, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. It definitely helps the channel grow. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys for USF. Go ahead and put your score predictions below. Again, anyone who gets it exactly right can win a small prize. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys on the very next episode of the Villanova Dynasty. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. Let me know in the comments.